Why did I punch her in the face? Yeah. Or I like, have, I absolutely have snapped, but I can control no, what I do when I've snapped. But when, when you well, say, that, when you no, say- No, 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 that's, okay. that's not true. It that's, is true. It absolutely that's true. No, it's no, totally that's true. That's absolute bullshit. I'm sorry I lashed out. I want you to know I have a mental illness. I was triggered. This is why it happened. I will work on myself and do my steps and not do it again, right? I think that's a bunch of horse shit. Uh, Steven, do you want to go first or should I? What, how would I don't have this? any problem. You guys are the ones that are- at each other's throats, so one of you guys have to figure out who's going first. Okay. Um, uh, Max? Sure. Um, hello. Hi. Uh, I... Um, every... People keep sending me clips of you um, talking about me. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you seem to, you're challenging me to some kind of duel, it feels like. You're saying, come on, bitch, like, if, like, are you weak, blah, blah, blah. It feels like you're trying to provoke me into uh, some kind of rematch. Is that true? I are don't you, know if it's a rematch. Me? No, first, okay, first, obviously, everything I've said is because... I I don't I hope you're not taking me too seriously on anything that sounds too offensive. If you are offended, please let me know and I'll stop. But well, I just I liked our convo and I want to have it again, but in a more I think I rematch. feel more comfortable. Well, I feel more comfortable now that I've seen more of your content and we've had talked. So I think we'll have a much more interesting conversation. Not that it wasn't interesting before. It was very You want to run it different. back. Well, I don't want to I don't know if there's anything to be run back. I think we need to go further, deeper. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and you're saying that you are not trying to provoke me into this. That perception of mine is incorrect. Uh, well, I provoke kind of assumes I'm not already in your DMs. Like, right? I don't need to. I just I want to. I want to hang out and talk. But I was quite passionate the other day, <laughs> so it probably sounded more like a battle. But yeah, I would love to spar with you intellectually. I think it'd be so fun. Is that a? Is that what you mean? When he's saying provoke, he means like. Sometimes what streamers do is we'll be like, this guy's a motherfucker, fuck this dude. And you're trying to like cause so much shit that the fan bases start clashing and then eventually somebody's gotta reach up like, all right, let's throw down, you called me out. Okay, high noon, oh. outside the saloon, you know, bring your I pistol. mean, that's why yeah. we're all talking right now, isn't it? I feel like the fan bases are now expecting some kind of ultimate showdown. That's what he means by Oh gosh, yeah. okay, so in my head, I was like, oh, we already talked once, so now we're kind of like cool enough that I can go at him and he can go at me, and now because we're like know each other a little bit, we can be okay. like. I'm sure you've got some kind of rational explanation for all this. I'm just saying it seems like you're trying to provoke me. If you're saying you're not, then I will not take you at your word, but we can. I'm trying to incur, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to invite you to discuss with me. Provoke sounds like a debate thing, and I don't want to debate you. You know I'm not good at that. I just want to have a conversation. Well, you are good at it if the other person doesn't know you're debating. And you're good at prov provocation if the other person doesn't. Like, you're basically saying anything you th anything I say that you take offense to is a joke. Anything I say that makes you mad no, no, is no. a joke. I'm just joking around. I just blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't want to fight with you. I just want to spar with you. I don't want to debate you. It's just you're going to constantly change the definition of what's happening so that I can never get a handle on what's going on. And then all I can do in response is say things like what I'm saying right now, which is just telling you what I think is happening endlessly. I, I, if provoke means encourage, then yes, I want to provoke you into having a discussion with me, but I don't think I, I think we already encourage are going to do that, right? discomfort. Do I make you uncomfortable? Um, uh, I don't think you're... The clips people have sent me have made me uncomfortable. Okay. Did you want to discuss them? Think... Do you have time to discuss them now? Or would you like to discuss them later? We can discuss them now. I, I know you said you were short on time. I am. <laughs> okay. Not um, that short on time. Okay. Well, not that short on time. I just like don't the... think I can do the whole thing. For sure. What? I would love clarification on who Max is, what his background is, what like brought you to be this person. It's a Jewish background. <laughs> Well, how Jewish are you? Are you as Jewish as I am Assyrian? Like, how Jewish are you? Uh, oh, man. I am racially, I believe I am either three-eighths or half Jewish. Okay. okay. So you're not, like, involved in the community? Do you hang out with the peeps? Like, are you involved no. in their, like... I've oh, never okay. been to a Passover dinner. I've never, I've never... A menorah has never been inside my house. Interesting. 
I've never participated in any Jewish customs or rituals or whatever it is those fucks do. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> okay. uh, I, I grew up celebrating Christmas and Easter like a good uh, Iraqi Christian. Uh, yeah, I, I don't have any, I don't, I mean, uh, but like, you know, stuff going out for Chinese food on Christmas. That's a that's a Jewish tradition. I did that. I'd see a lot of Jews at the restaurant there. So there's, cool. there's definitely some, um, you know, in having a grandfather who was a psychologist, that seems like a, a Jewish thing. So, like, there's definitely some, yeah, you can say, like, well, of course you, blah, blah, blah. But, like, uh, um, explicitly religious and cultural, I have no no connection to the, the, the tribe. Okay. So I was walking the dog earlier and I was thinking about why this was so offensive to people. I'm like, what did I say? And then I realized I was like, well, maybe he's not Jewish Jewish. And I was like, oh, well, that will make a lot more sense. And then I heard you earlier say that you were raised atheist. Is that correct? I was raised atheist, but that's not why people were offended. Why were people offended? It had nothing to do with me. It's just that you, you in an out of context clip saying go be Jewish somewhere else sounds anti-Semitic. What if I say go be white somewhere else? Go well, it's okay to be it's okay it. to be anti-white, but that that, that is al right. also actually that is actually racist, and I think it was racist when you said that. But people just don't care when you're racist towards white people. So it, I think to give a little bit of insight here as well, um, because a lot of the ire is coming from my fan base. Um, my content online is really politically engaged, so when people hear something that sounds anti-Semitic, they get like that's like a huge like people will turn immediately. That's like something to keep in mind because of the type of community that I have that's like super political. Yeah, I guess that that's what I was thinking as well because honestly, I meant it as like a, like literally just go like be your people over there and my people over here because it's like a cultural difference. It's like a bubble, right? But also Jews and Chaldeans were like cousins. So it's kind of like making fun of my own people, right? Like we're part of the three wise men. You know what I mean? Like yeah, we're part but of the there's Bible, a, there's we care fathers. You have a, a sort of, um, out of seemingly seem, sort of unchecked, vaguely unhinged animosity when you talk about me. So I knew that it was I did me that, that day. You, yeah, I know. So I knew that it was you, that was me that you were hating when you said that, not Jews. But I think that yeah. to, right. So, but <laughs> somebody who didn't understand that might think that you were mad because I'm a Jew. But I, I understood Here. you were just sort of, uh, you know, blurting things out and you mm -hmm. were like mad, you were mad at me. Yeah, I was upset with the intellectual dishonesty I felt like you offered me during our combo, but that's my fault mm -hmm. or not. I think I could have engaged differently. I thought this is so it's your fault for, thinking, for expecting more from me than you could. Well, I'm embarrassed expect. because I did think we were having like six meta conversations and I was having fun. And then I realized, oh, I don't think we are. And I feel stupid because I think we're having a different conversation than we're having. You feel stupid so for I, thinking I was smart. No, I felt stupid for thinking we spoke the same language. So that was my bad. It. So it now we like, can have this, now we can communicate to it have It feels the same like language. you're calling me stupid. I think we have different language. Don't you, you think, think your language accurate? is better and smarter than mine. <laughs> <laughs> I think you think that's what I think, but I think I do think- I do think, think that's what you think. I think, I think that's I, what um, you're saying. You're saying I expected more of you, Max. I did expect something. I don't like the idea. I was disappointed, but I don't it's like so the It's so heartbreaking idea to know you that down. you're calling me stupid, but just admit no. that you're calling me stupid. I disappointed <laughs> you. You thought I was smart, and then you realized I'm not as smart or... or um, I, you know, this is what frustrates it. me, because I think you are smart. Listen to the way you're talking to me now, right? Like, yeah. you are purposely... Like, I've seen your work. I like your work. I just don't understand how someone can create that work and then have these kinds of conversations. In a me. dazzling show of confrontational empathy, I am both making fun of myself for calling you out and yet also actually calling you out for calling me stupid and giving you a graceful way to respond to it all at the same time. You're a five, bro. That's it. It's official. That's that's what they say. I believe it. Do you, um, do you think I'm smart or do you think I'm stupid? I think you're smart. I told you what I think of you. I think you're smart, mm. but I think you're a little crazy. Based. You know what? Ditto. Literally ditto. That's why I'm so frustrated by you, because I think you are smart, but I also think you're kind of crazy. I don't think I'm that crazy. I don't think I'm that crazy. I don't understand why people think I'm that crazy, except people think I believe in things I don't, like magic and like otherworldly things and parallel universes. Like, I don't believe in any of that stuff. 
So I think that's kind of funny. Like, actually, who was the guy you guys were talking? Glink? Glink? Glink. Glink is more woo-woo than I can handle. I'm like, he's so woo-woo, bro. And the people are like, Brittany, aren't you as woo-woo? I'm like, no. Nothing I talk about is anything to do with magic or, like, you know what I mean? But I like I liked his enthusiasm. Okay. Uh, you said I don't have any values. Yes, I bel I think you might not, because you're kind of a contrarian. Like even when you talk well, I'm to just Glink, to, is, yeah. I know you were. I know you were angry. Yes, and also I forgive me. He's, I was very sick. I went to the doctors. It got sorted. So okay. that was that. I was really tired. That was my bad. So I was upset, but I wasn't at like I wasn't angry at you. I was literally angry at my body for you had a me. case of Mr. Girl derangement syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> the doctors were able to clear that up. I'm glad to hear. Yeah, it. let's call it is that. Is your current stance? Is your current stance? I don't have any values, or I might not have any values, or you don't think I have any values? Just for clarification. Uh, my belief is that you don't have any values, but I'm open okay. to being proven wrong. I don't see the consistency yeah. I thought I would see in your like in your speech patterns. Like even today with Glink, I didn't understand why you kept saying certain things, and I was like, "Where's the consistency?" But maybe I'm. I'm wrong in thinking there should be a certain uh, flavor of consistency. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong in my thinking. Are we using values as a synonym for beliefs or morals? Or uh, more like morals, more or less than beliefs, because you have a belief that contradicts the value you have, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I just want to know, like, what do you believe is right or wrong? And how do you consistently show that in your life? And then what, what can I depend, Ma like, I don't really feel like you're consistent enough for me to feel like I can depend on Max's reaction. So like, what is it, like, what beliefs do you hold or values do you, not beliefs, values do you hold that are like, these are, I'm, I'm going to be honorable in relation to these values. So I can like, Max will always do this. Or Max definitely won't do this. Uh, if he's sticking to his values, you mean? I don't know that I yes. always adhere to my own values, but yeah, I get, I get what you're saying. Okay, fair. Okay. So, so it can, I just look for consistency in people. So, are you saying that because you don't always adhere to your own values, that I shouldn't assume you? No, can no. Be I think I, I oh. think I'm pretty consistent. I think I usually well. adhere to my values. I try to. I don't. I'm not always. Um, I think I can usually admit when I haven't. Mm -hmm. um, or try to. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, are there any specific values you want to um, probe or compare? Yeah. Here's you know, I, I am fascinated by your relationship with Shaylin just because I don't quite understand the way you guys communicate. From my perspective, I just don't understand. Like, you said something particularly interesting, and maybe this is outdated. said that um, I think I'm, uh, I'm paraphrasing, cured of my desire to hit women because I want to hit Shaylin, but I don't. Is that, that sort of, I'm paraphrasing here, but like, is that I still think accurate? I, I don't think you're paraphrasing. I think I literally said that. Ooh, I'm really good at my job. Okay. I guess, <laughs> I guess haven't would be more accurate than don't, but yes. Okay, so you can understand, right, why that would be really hard for anyone to hear if they think that physical violence is not appropriate in a relationship. So, like, do your values well, align with that, or are you allowed to be physically violent in your, sorry, within your values? No, no, I, th I don't think it's right to hit your girlfriend, but partly okay. because it's bad for you. I mean, I think that's what I was trying to get across in the video is that if you're um, hitting or even screaming at your girlfriend... Uh, in order to get her to do something for you or to take care of you. I mean, to go back to the parenting thing that Steve and I were talking about earlier. I think that's the mm -hmm. reason a lot of like, unless unless it's like really serious, like beating and punching. I think most physical violence is an attempt to get the other person to be like, hey, calm the fuck down. Chill out. I'll, I'll, I see you're freaking out. I'll take care of this. Or at least that's what it was like in my um, my other relationship. So do you mean, I don't think go, that. Wait. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, so, like, yeah, I, I think there's another kind of violence where you're, like, trying to subjugate somebody and just pummel them into the ground. I've never been part of and never had that done to me or done it to somebody else. But I think the, the, the violence I am talking about is, um, I mean, maybe that, maybe that violence is ultimately about trying to get the other person to take care of you. But I'm more talking about the violence that's, like, uh, a desperate um, clawing at the other person to try to make them um, take care of you. I don't think it's yeah. right. I don't think you should do it. And and mm -hmm. it's bad for the relationship, it's bad for the other person, and it's bad for you. Um so just to clarify, 
as an example, I think I understand what you mean. Like sometimes you lash out or throw a tantrum. So your partner will then like go into daddy mommy mode and like care mm -hmm. for you. And okay. That makes sense to my brain. I just don't understand. Were you being literal? You, you asked me during our conversation or you told me during our conversation to take you seriously when you say things. But yeah. when I do, I become worried. Like, oh, is this man unsafe? When I see you as a performance artist, I'm like enthralled wait by your second. work. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. We're talking about, am I, do I have values? Am I consistent or am I a safe man? I think those are all different questions. So you may be uncomfortable with what I'm saying, but I don't think that makes it inconsistent. Okay, fair. Uh, in relation to you, like, lashing out, just for clarification, so I can, since I have you here, when you, your ex-girlfriend, who I believe you punched, correct? Like, what was that for? Like, why go to that why length did of I, violence? Why did I punch her in the face? Yeah. I lightly punched her in the face, okay? It wasn't like Does a that mean punch. like this, or does that mean like this? Like, are a you A punch slapping? is a closed fist. No, I closed fist okay. punched her in the... I probably punched her like this. It was like... It was, it was, it was... Probably did not even cause any pain, but it was like definitely punching somebody in the face. Okay, M Max, just a symbolic talks. face. A symbolic <laughs> face. Punch. You can't. It wasn't that make bad. Videos. I mean, I don't Max, know how to say make it. Videos on the internet aggressively saying you punched a woman and you're a wife, like you're a woman beater, and then come here and be like lightly punched her in the face. Which one is it? <laughs> oh, I said it in the video. I said for the honest, for the purpose of honesty, I will say I didn't punch her that hard, but I did technically punch my ex in the face. And her reaction was to look at me and say, why are you punching me in the face? Which is exactly what I needed in that moment. Uh, there's probably a different way I could have gotten it, I'm sure. But why did I punch her in the face? Because I was, we were going out to lunch with my father. Mm. Yeah. And then you said that you, visiting your father. And, 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 and honestly, it honestly had, yeah, uh, any proximity to my father made me like 10 times more violent uh, towards my ex. So we were about to have lunch with my father. I, I think literally that is why I punched her. I don't think it even had anything to... I think she, like, wasn't responding to me or something. And I was like, I, I was like, hey, I really need you to respond to what I'm saying right now. Or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose my shit. Yeah. So punch, punching her was my way of letting her know that. Now, I wasn't thinking very clearly when I did this. I'm not... Mm -hmm. Again, I'm not saying this was a good thing I did. I'm just saying it happened. I think that's fair that we talk about our experiences and how nuanced and layered it is. I definitely have not always been a healthy partner in relationships. No. Um, I've just never had a partner punch me, and so I'm pro I can't process that reality very much. And so have I'm trying to outside of a domestic, you? Uh, not in the face, <laughs> but yeah, sure. Okay, so. Yeah, but we're, like we're siblings. Like that's what we're we're supposed to fight it out, right? Like that's what we do with. Well, not all my siblings. I don't know. I don't know if that's true that it. you're supposed to hit your siblings, but it's common. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So usually, I don't, like, what do you, fight it out in a, like, a are, are you, gloves Again, you, I already said I don't think you should punch. Like, do you? Do I think you should punch your girlfriend in the face? Probably not, no. Okay, cool. Is that what you're asking me? Yeah, because by your videos, sometimes you make it sound like you're justified, even though you're saying it's bad. Uh, you I know never... what? The title, the title of the video is How I Learned to Stop Hitting Women. So, to say you that you don't know what Shailen. the con... That's weird. It's not, I don't think it's weird to want to hit your girlfriend at all. I but, think that's weird. I don't think that's well, healthy. I, okay, it might be unhealthy, but do you think it's uncommon? Yes. Uh, uncommon meaning, I'm sorry, I don't- Wait, I, I think rare. we should be careful to like explain like yeah. what we're talking about exactly, because you might be- Is it rare? Like, okay. Do you Like think there are a lot of common? times where I want to literally like, I'll say like there have been times where I want to beat the fucking shit out of my kid until he dies. That's like a feeling that I think every parent, when you've got a kid who's acting out of public, you're like, I'm ready to kill you. But like, obviously you would never do this because you love your kid, right? Um, and I'm sure that there are probably varying amounts of animosity depending on how emotional we feel towards like our significant others, where it's like, right, you, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna fucking kill you, right? But we obviously would never act on it. So like, are we talking about are that? Or are we talking about like, I actually, I'm, I've thought about it and I'm ready to punch you in the fucking face, right? Those are two like different things, <laughs> right. right? Like that, I think that, so, but I don't know what you guys, you guys might be talking about different right. things, you know, yeah. Well, I don't think we are. I feel like you're, I, I guess this is my, my problem. This is the, my whole problem with you, Brittany. Mm. You're saying you want me to be brutally honest about like who I am and my work. So it's all interesting and stuff. But then at the same time, stop every five seconds to have a big disclaimer on the screen. Like, don't punch your girlfriend in the face. <laughs> or, or yeah. you know, like people yeah. seem to want me to self-flagellate a lot more. Like, 
like uh, like I don't feel appropriately bad about it enough. I can tell the story. I yeah. can give people a whole like manual of like here's how I learned to stop being a domestic abuser and here's my advice for you and maybe these tips will help you, kids. I don't know. And then, but 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 I don't hate myself enough while I'm saying it. So now you you conflate that with me having no values. I love myself. I love I love the hand that punched my ex wife in the face. Mm -hmm. And I love all of me, even okay. the abusive parts. Interesting. Um, I guess I find that perplexing. I suppose. That I still love myself that you like the abusive that you love the abusive parts well I, I see the abusive parts as like a a child that I wasn't taking good enough care of and that my ex was not taking good enough care of while we're in it but um, you know I still I, uh, kids lash out and the child part of you lashes out and I just think that that means it needed more love Okay. I'm trying to give it that. I'm trying to give it that love, and I have that love. Um, well, I'm not. Always, I'm not always loving to myself, to all parts of mm -hmm. myself, but I, I should be, and I want to be. For sure. I guess if I may, you said something in a video like, "I don't need guilt," or "Guilt is not helpful." Um, if I may, my therapist always said that guilt was like a betrayal of the one's own values, and shame is the betrayal of your bubbles' values, like your communities. Um, bubbles by language, not hers. Hurt, she would say community. And so yeah. I'm curious, like, do you feel guilt? I, I know I speak your fucking language. Do I feel guilt <laughs> about yeah. punching my ex? Do I feel guilt now? Or in general, like, do you do you have guilt as a way? Am I capable of feeling? Okay, this is different from having values. You're con I don't want to answer your question, you sick fuck, because now you're saying that <laughs> guilt, having guilt is the same as having values. Well, like I said, uh, don't you in think this Catholic definition... priests feel guilt when they molest kids? Probably, but they keep doing it. Here, okay, so wait. Let me let's, let let me try to bridge the guilt gap without here. value. So here's the so here's like the I think the answer to the question that Brittany is trying to pose to you is that like it seems to be the case that irrespective of whatever action you take, that one you seem to love yourself no matter what, and two there is an explanation for every single action that exists. So. If that, if those two, th if we accept those two things are true, um, and then we take it a step further, and you're talking about things that you've done, and you're not expressing guilt over anything that's happened, then the next question is like, is it possible that you could ever have a value system that would make somebody feel like I don't want to say safe, but that would make it feel like you could predict your future actions and things you try to avoid. Because it sounds like theoretically, you could be in a room with, we'll say a room with Brittany, she says something really annoying and you smack the shit out of her. And then two weeks later, you're like, I'm, you know, you shouldn't smack the shit out of women, but I don't regret what I did. I don't have guilt. And I think that like, I understand why I did it. And I love myself. I think that's like the issue where it's like, okay, well, hold on. Well, without guilt, we feel like we can do no wrong because like guilt is something that we express when we've done something we feel is wrong that doesn't comport with our value system. So is there an underlying value system at all? Or I think that's like the question that's being asked. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see. Yeah. I think I'm pretty anti-shame and anti-guilt. I don't, I, uh, I think you should feel them when you feel them, but I don't think you should try to play them up or feel them when you don't feel them. So, um, like, yeah, on, on some level, I am uh, I feel guilty about that, but not that guilty because... Uh, the, like, How about, I wait, let's, let's use... One, I'm going to use one more word so that we're speaking the same language. I don't think that... So I understand when you say you don't like the concept of guilt, you made this reference earlier. You're talking about this public self, um, is it flagellation or whatever? Flagellation. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And I, I don't think that Brittany is saying, like, have you gone on your oh, knees and oh, begged for forgiveness? She's saying, like, do you is. feel like... I do. No, no, no. I think I what she's... Go I think... Go what, no, no, I think you wait, let me finish this then. You guys do think. I think what she's just saying is, like, do you feel that what you did was wrong? That's the question. It's not really, like, a matter of guilt. It's like, do you, just, do you feel like you did a wrong action? Is I think what she's asking. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, uh, no, no, no. The question again. is, would you be open to doing it again? If I hit a, if I punch a woman in the face, it will be because I snapped, not because I thought I, it was a good idea. I, uh, you act like That's the first time question. I, you, why, why do didn't you punch snap? Her? I, well, hang on. I didn't <laughs> punch her because I was like, I was like, dear diary, today <laughs> I'm going to punch my girlfriend in the face. Right. 
Okay. You know? So uh, noted. It, it was not premeditated. It was not a premeditated face. Wait, what do so you mean noted? Me... No, no, don't don't give me your dishonest lies. You watch the video, you know the entire thing is about getting to a place where you are so emotionally desperate that in a in an act of frantic desperation and and emotional survival and psychological like torment, you lash out. You know that that is the context that I'm talking about. And the entire video is about how to restructure the rest of your life so that you do not feel so desperate that you have to lash out. Now you're asking me, did you wake up planning to punch her in the face? Like, like no, obviously that wasn't that, not the plan. And I have no plans to punch anyone else in the face. Okay, I think the, the issue I'm the video having... Is like, uh, yeah. Yeah, I got you. But when a when a grown up says, "Hey, I have the possi like the potential of snapping," and these we all are have the, the habits, potential of snapping. I've never snapped and hit anyone in the face, and I've gotten pretty fucking close. Like I'm get pretty angry. Like I have a you relationship with my anger. You snapped and said you were going to put me in a concentration camp. <clears throat> Hold on. Wait. Okay. Wait. Let well, me let me commensurate. Let me make your two views. Okay. Let me make your two views. Okay. I can I can talk from personal experience. Okay. So I was one of the very first people on Twitch. Okay. Pioneer. I was one of the very first people on Twitch to get banned for hate speech because I called somebody the F word in a League of Legends game. Okay. I snapped. I got mad. Called him a bad word. Okay. But at the time. Twitch didn't ban people for that. I, that was never a ban-worthy thing. That was something they changed just for me. Um, and then they started banning more people afterwards for that type of thing. There are times when I snap, but even when I snap, there are boundaries around that behavior that I will never cross. I, I'll, I'll, I don't think I will ever hit a partner. That's just, unless like, unless we're talking snapped to the next dimension, like Melina is like, you know, trying to beat the shit out of my son in front of me, then maybe I will, right? But like, generally, sh short of like anything unfathomable. I think Melina is a lot more likely to hit you than the other way around. Yeah, of course. Based on obviously. Your, your conflict but like, yeah, sure. But I'm just saying that like, miles. if I was a different type of person where I thought well, something- Well, I'm more likely went, to hit Shaylin than she is likely to hit Sure, me. sure. But I'm saying that like, even in our snapped mode, we have like different levels of like, how we feel we ought to restrict our behavior, what we think is acceptable, whatever. Sure. And I think that's what's being asked about. So like, even when you snap, like, for instance, like I'm, I'm sure you would agree with this statement. Like, I like firearms. Okay, but if I were to, you know, me and Melina get into a fight, I go to the other room, get my Glock, and I shoot her to death, and I'm like, oh fuck, Max, I snapped. I think you would still look at me and be like, okay, I understand you snapped, but like, couldn't you have slapped her? Why the fuck did you fire all 17 fucking rounds into her skull? You'd no, be like, I would I know exactly. <laughs> uh, no, I would know exactly why you fired oh all gosh. 17 rounds sure. into her skull. <laughs> but I'm saying I, th I think that's like the difference. It's like, is there a boundary around like the snap behavior or to snap in Max's mind? Because if you, because now the branching paths are, if you answer yes. I, I can do anything once I snap, then in Brittany's world, she's thinking like, okay, well, your underlying value system then is essentially worthless because why would I care about a value that you have that will instantaneously be broken if you're emotionally compromised? That's not a value at all. That means nothing at that point. Right. Like I'm borderline, but when I'm triggered, I am obligated even when triggered to maintain my values as a way to not harm the people around me. Do so you I have think my I'm, steps, do you think, I do you, oh, So again, are you asking me if I think I'm obligated to not punch my girlfriend in the face? I'm asking you if you're well enough to restrain violent action against your partner. How can I be the one to judge that? Would that, when you just look at my behavior to establish that? Well, I don't live in your life, so unless I saw you on the, I don't know how much of Nobody your thinks, is... I mean, very few people think of themselves as domestic abusers. Nobody wakes up thinking like, I'm like, if I'm, you know, spoken to the wrong way, I'm gonna hit my partner. I, yeah, but I think I the think challenge of... is you've already like publicized some like things that you've done that people would say are abusive, like punching somebody. That so that sure. now the, I'm just saying uh -huh. I'm just well yeah, but that, I think that's what's different about me is that I'm publicizing these things about myself. But that I don't think that the way I think about it is that unique in the sense of like um okay, I think like this is something that people get confused a lot about with my work. I'm not publicizing it to say that I'm proud of it. I'm just publicizing it. I'm not, it's not like a, a, an advertisement for like what a good boyfriend I am. Okay. Then when I post the levels, I'm not posting it to convert people. I'm just sharing my ideas. That's not true, Brittany. <laughs> it's not true. I get your, I guess you're saying that what I'm saying isn't true. I'm saying that it's only, it's only true if we think it's true. I'm, or, I'm, well, I, it doesn't matter. I'm advertising myself as somebody you would want to listen to talk in videos and give money to on Patreon or buy my rap <laughs> album. That's what I'm advertising. I'm not, it's not a dating site. Like people, people, I think a lot of YouTubers make this mistake where they're like, I will 
advertise myself as a good content creator by advertising myself as a good person. Ah. But a lot of people don't want to watch or hear the thoughts of like a good, normal, well-rounded, clean-shaven, nice person. They want to see a good presentation done by somebody who is like a little rough around the edges. So I'm not like me posting it on YouTube is not a um, I'm not condoning my own behavior. I'm just telling a story. Okay. Then the story you're telling makes me think you might be unsafe to be around. Is that okay? No, you have to think I'm safe to be around. You know what happens to, to women who don't think what I, they have to think. No, yeah, what, what do you mean is it okay? What am I going to do about you thinking I'm not safe to be around? Well, that's, that's okay. what I mean when I say I don't think you have values that are safe enough for people to be around. So that's all I'm saying when I say you don't have well, values. Well, it sounds like you're talking about impulse control, not values. Here, well, so, okay, so here's, this is what Max's problem. We both problem. agree hitting women is bad. So we, we have that value. Yeah, but it, it okay. sounds like you're saying, it sounds like you're saying you don't think I can adhere to the value. What, what Max is, I think what Max is, Max is unexceptional. Max doesn't think that his thoughts are like uniquely horrible here. Max is like making an ask to the audience, basically saying like, listen, I'm more honest than the average person. That's the exceptional quality about Max. It's not that he wants to hit women or he feels abuses sometimes, or he's done these things in the past. It's that he's actually willing to admit it. That's the exceptional quality. So his irritation is I'm not a pedophile, that, I'm just honest. Yeah. Sure. Um, so, his, so the irritation that he has is that, especially if he comes across somebody like you, that he views as being relatively intelligent and somebody that's appreciative of his like honesty, that the reason why people in society aren't honest is because they feel judged. And you are somebody that is exceptionally socially intelligent and has an appreciation for his honesty, but then you do the complete normie thing and judge him for the honesty, and then it makes him feel like, well, what the fuck is even the purpose of this? Why even say you appreciate my honesty yeah. when I think I'm admitting things that aren't even exceptional? That's what I think that would be like Max's issue with your um, expression. I mean, of ditto, saying, right? Yeah. Absolutely. That's how I felt when you came at me about the levels, where I was like, oh man, like he should have. It's such a cool idea. He should have engaged, but you just called. Me. So I get it. So okay, scratch that. Let's like move that. I forgiven. Moving on. So okay, Max. I'm well, to know wait a second. Uh, this isn't a what? trial, and you're not a prosecutor. <laughs> I, I want to point out that you're conflating me having values with me having impulse control. You're saying you think that I cannot control myself well enough to stick to my values, and that Based therefore, off what told me. Max the Ripper may strike again. To be Based fair, though, because you basically did say that, like, well, sometimes you snap, and when you snap, you can't control yourself. That is kind of what you said, right? <laughs> well, that's the definition of snapping. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. but most people would say that even when you snap, there's still going to be some boundaries to behavior, right? That are probably going to be drawn well before punching somebody. Well, if you, that's, I mean, yeah, all, all, let, like, let's be honest, all snapping is relative. Well, you can snap. Yeah, you that, can snap no, 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 hold on, you careful. Can snap and call on the F slur. Yeah, you, you can snap, say. Like you, oh, wait a second. You yeah. snapped, mm -hmm. and once you got banned for it, you have not snapped since. No, so I like, have. I absolutely have snapped, but I can control no, what you, I do when I've snapped. No, but when when you well, say that, when you no, say no, 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 that's okay. a that's not true. It is that's, true. It absolutely that's is bullshit. true. No, it's no, totally that's true. That's absolute bullshit. The definition of snapping is. I'm going to create a definition right now. Okay. Okay. You have a bunch of things you're willing to do. Mm -hmm. You're inhibited from doing everything outside of this bubble. Mm -hmm. When you snap. The, the, the bubble go, undergoes a rapid expansion where not, now there's a new set of things yes. that you were not willing to do that suddenly you are willing to do. Yep. So you could snap all the way and kill your entire family. Yes. Or you could snap a little and say a slur. Yeah. But if you say the slur and you get banned, then suddenly the next time, even though you feel the same way, the next mm -hmm. time you snap, that, that slur is still inhibited because you're like, well, I don't want to get fucking banned. Sure. But all I'm saying is that like people have different levels that they snap to. And part of our dealing with other humans is figuring right. out what those levels look like. So for instance, if somebody told me that like my partner and I got into a, a pretty big fight and then they punched me three times in the face, I would say it, it's time to leave you need to leave. Now, there is sure. a conceivable world where that person actually did do something where they deserve to get punched three times in the face. It would be exceptional. But like, chances are, if that's within your boundaries of like well, your first or second well, level no, no. snaps, then I it's time to leave. I think this is just semantics. It's I not, it's, it's absolutely, hold on. It, it is absolutely, absolutely not let, semantics. Let me, let me, let me finish this thought. Yeah, finish that thought. Go ahead, finish it. Yeah, go ahead, tell me why. The question, the question is, the reason it's semantics is, okay, you snapped, you punched, you punched somebody three times in the face. Mm -hmm. So the question is, is this a common amount of snapping for you where punching the person three times in the face is like your first level of yeah. snapping? Mm -hmm. Or did you have an extreme snap 
and therefore punching them in the face is out here, but you you really lost it all the way. It, it was like the worst day, you know, everybody died in a plane crash and yeah. you lost your job and blah, blah, blah. You found out you have cancer. So you really snapped and blah, blah, blah. But either way, we're st we, like, we agree, me punching my ex in the face was not normal behavior. I only did it once. Mm -hmm. So I did snap in some form. The bubble expanded. So now is... I feel like what you're asking me is, and this is why it's semantics, you're saying, are you likely to snap that much again? Yeah. Or is that behavior so close that um, if you snap again, uh, it'll just be there? Yeah, but exactly. Either way, you, either way, you already know it only happened once. And I've already said that I have yes, a okay. So, so, so here's the, so it becomes semantics because it's, it's just like where's the no, camera? No, no, it, 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 hold on, this is, it's not semantics. It's paramount to human interaction. The reason well, why semantics. when you interact with somebody, okay, the reason the worst thing about somebody, um, we'll say cheating, okay, the worst thing about yeah. somebody cheating on you isn't that they cheated on you. The worst thing is that now you've discovered they have the capacity to cheat, and once that yes. capacity has been uncovered, you can't go back. And the capacity to lie. Yes, sure. But so that so that's the issue. So the prop so now if you now there are answers that you could have given earlier that would have made everything you just said relevant. If you would have said like the reason that I hit her was because like I had been pushed to the brink, I was doing final, she kept waking me up no, at night, no, no. she wanted to blah blah. But you I said hit her you were going out to lunch with my father. Exactly. So when you've sure. given that explainer, okay. So this is a guy that when he gets upset because he's stressed by going to lunch with his father, he actually physically strikes people that is near him. That's a pretty frightening capacity. That sounds like a level one snap that goes to physical violence. That wasn't like a level, level four one. or seven or eight or whatever Britney bubble snaps. Right? This wasn't a level five yeah. snap. That was a level one snap. Holy shit. Um, like I have the capacity to say in my internet interaction, I have the capacity to say really mean, nasty things to people. But in order to get me there, you have to go certain levels. Like I'm not gonna trash you personally unless you're willing to go there first, right? Because there's levels to it. And I think we, we, as humans, we try to figure out where those levels are. And right now, okay. I think what Brittany's saying is you've, you've expressed that you have a capacity for physical violence that can be earned on by not much, just like going to lunch with your father. And it seems like you're okay well, with that. And that's kind of scary. Lunch with my father. That well, is I mean, true. You know Maybe what, your father is, you, know kind of, you know, yeah, go ahead. You know what's kind of sick about this? Mm -hmm. mm. Uh -oh. You're saying that if I threw my ex under the bus, then uh, I would be more likable. Right. If I said, if I was like, listen, she was abusive in this way. She did this to me. She did this to me. She did this to me. She had hit me earlier that day. Blah, 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 blah. We'd established all these things. I was begging her for help. She said the cruelest thing. She threatened to leave me if I didn't do X, Y, Z. She, she had totally under control. And one day I just, I know it's horrible. I was so horrible. I shouldn't have done this. But one day I just, I punched her really lightly and blah, 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 blah. And like, but really what I'm doing, you know, I, I could throw her under the bus and blame her. And then you would say, oh, well, as long as you're not with a toxic bitch, then, uh, you know, it takes two to tango, right? Yeah, but wait, that's okay. What's wrong? But like, I don't th why do you think, I I think that why do you think you should be throwing her under the bus? Why is that working? Because you're, you're, what you're basically selling to the other person, the you're selling them the story that like, the only way that I can be pushed to this level is is if like somebody goes to this level. Like, so like, earlier, I said I well, said that I would never hit a woman. That's not true, actually. I did fight with my, my two physically abusive exes. But to get me to that level, they had to be literally attacking me first to where I was calling the cops on them. So technically, I lied earlier. But if I give that explanation, no normal human being that I date is never gonna escalate to physical violence because they're, not, they're gonna be fucking hitting me, right? But that's an important descriptor to show that like, yeah, I guess like there are times where I'll fight with a, with a girlfriend or, or wife, I guess. But like, in order to get to that point, you have to attack me first. That's like an exceptional snap. Otherwise. I've been super mad at plenty of like exes and shit, but I've never hit them before, right? So I think that I think giving that I'm, qualification is really important. Yeah, go ahead. I think it's important to me that if I'm going to be talking about hitting women on my channel, that I own it 100%. Yeah, but you, what do you own it though? The, my capacity to punch a fucking woman in the face. Yeah, but the capacity, saying, like, it, what, where is it set out from, right? Like I'll own saying bad things in the past, like racial slurs or stuff I should be saying, but I'm never going to own like being like, racist. If, I, right? if I make right? a new video, if I was making a video called how to not get your perfectly reasonable husband to punch you in the fucking face, here are 10 behaviors you should avoid, you bitch. Then yes, I would then I would definitely include the context that we're talking about. But I was I wanted to make a video about um, and present domestic violence in a completely un uh, unapologetic and um, empathic light. And so if I'm saying, here's how to empathize with a domestic abuser, 
or at someone in a domestic violence situation. And that empathy can lead you out of it. By empathizing with people who are violent in relationships, it can actually provide us a, a solution, like a roadmap for understanding them and getting their needs met, because that's ultimately the problem. If I start that out by saying like, hey, hey guys, I'm not like those other domestic abusers who hit their girlfriends for absolutely no fucking reason at all. They do it for fun. They do it just to hear their knuckles bounce off their girlfriend's faces. Then, then really what I'm saying is I'm not a real domestic abuser. I'm one of the good ones. And I don't want to do that. I want to present it as this is, this is a story and an, an advice that is simultaneously really hard to relate to, but also could relate to anybody in any domestic violence situation where you can look at it and you can say, Yeah, that's you can do that. If that's your goal at the end of the day, that's fine. But now you're doing yourself a disservice. You just have to be aware of that. Right? Like if I like there are times in my past, especially as a teenager, where I've probably done things that are like rapey. I'll admit that one hundred percent. I'll do it for purposes of panels too, because I think that empathy is important. Like, yeah, I talk a lot about consent and all of this shit, and I think I do a really right. good job of it now, but I've made mistakes in the past that are absolutely like rapey as fuck, one hundred percent but if i were to do a youtube video and i'd be like i just want you guys to know i've raped women in the past and they didn't even deserve it i just i full-on <laughs> fucking raped them and i'm going to tell you now today why we shouldn't rape people right it would be now somebody okay. i could do that for empathy but if a girl was like but, i don't know if i want to be in a room alone with steve he said he's a rapist and he said they didn't even deserve to be a rapist. i don't know now right i think it's okay to give qualifications for what's happened okay. so that people have a love if you expect just, them to view you in a certain way yeah i just think there's something inherently abusive but if i'm trying to say i'm trying to come clean I think there's something inherently abusive about saying she deserved to get punched in the face, which is basically what Brittany is saying. She would feel more comfortable if I made some case for why my ex deserved to get punched in the face, which undermines the whole fucking premise, which is that nobody deserves to get punched in the face. So if I'm making a video some people, that's like a manual- I don't know, man. There are some people that might deserve <laughs> to get fucking beat the shit out of every now and then. There's some fucked up I, people I'm, out there, but- <laughs> I'm, I'm anti-domestic violence. So I have to say, I don't think anybody deserves to have their partner punch them in the face. And- uh, yeah, so if I'm making a video about that with that as like the foundational belief and it's a guide basically how to not punch your partner in the face by throwing her under the bus because um, I have all the power of the edit, all the power of storytelling, everybody watching the video already likes me and probably already either dislikes her or has complicated feelings about her. I'm very careful with how I talk about my ex because I, I don't want people to hate her okay. and, and I don't hate her. I'm, I, I I'm want, doing too I much of this people... conversation. Go, Brittany. Go ahead. Um, okay, I kind of, I, I actually have a story that's, uh, I guess, maybe similar. See, you know how you say you lightly punched her? I'm like, why are you even owning a punch then? Just say you, like, tapped her on the face with your fist. Like, it's not even accurate to say, when I hear punch, Max, I hear punch. Like, well, I explained like it in the story. Man, I, said I, I said I punched her lightly. I know, but that's not and what that, and that, focus and on. That her, well, it's fine. They can focus on whatever they want. That's what happened. And she looked at me and said, why are you punching me in the face? But so you said it was such story. like dramatic, like telling it, was, it you like it's it, see, this is what I'm saying. Are you smart enough to know that you were making the audience feel uncomfortable? Yes, you're making it video, sound like you're a villain. Empathizing with somebody who hits their partner is uncomfortable. No, 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 Absolutely. no. You've made it so much where I couldn't empathize with you because you were just it seemed it, you didn't it didn't allow me a chance to empathize with you and I wanted a chance to. May I tell you a story really fast about my time I hit my ex? <laughs> yeah, but I predict that you are going to throw your ex under the bus to make it so that we empathize with you and not your ex. Which okay, is the exact thing I didn't want to, it's the exact thing I didn't want to do. I really struggled with this, like for a long time of how to view myself. Um, I want you to empathize with my ex when you're watching the video, not not just. I know, but me. I couldn't because I was too busy feeling uncomfortable about like how dangerous is Max when I watched your video. I didn't even like. I just thought about her as this girl who was like a total victim to the situation, whose boyfriend, when he saw his dad beat her, like that's what I came away with. Okay. And you only hit her once, but it made it sound like every time you saw your dad, you beat her. Is that inaccurate? Well, I is it inaccurate that it sounded like that to you? It sounds like it did sound like that to you. Well, dude, did you beat your girlfriend every time you saw your father? I don't even, I wouldn't even call it beating her. I just punched her lightly once in the face. Sorry. Okay. Do you see like the how the video this stands? I stand by the video. I don't want to, I don't want to submit to I'm... your questioning. <laughs> I'm just trying to say like when we, okay. In, in DBT therapy, you learn to explain to people why you were bad, but you don't use it as an excuse. I'm sorry I lashed out. I want you to know I have a mental illness. I was triggered. This is why it happened. I will work 
on myself and do my steps and not do it again, right? I think that's a bunch of horse shit. An explanation, an excuse? It is an excuse. Well, it's so not I an excuse. I punched you in the face because I fucking felt like it because you were pissing me off and I was sad. No, I was triggered and I acted out of turn and I am remorseful and I do not want to be that person whether Those I'm triggered or not. Those are all externalizing. You're like, the stars made me punch you in the face. It's. I think you should just take it. Take it. No, if you you're could, responsible? Hey, if you're going to punch somebody in the face, you should be able to take square on the reaction of people to the fact that that happened. Okay, so I'll give you an example then. I was having sex with my ex and I have PTSD mm. and I didn't know it then and I got triggered and I hadn't told him about the rape because I hadn't told anyone about my rape. It was like six to eight years later. I just didn't tell anyone until I went to therapy. And um, I, we were in the middle of sex and I said, get off me. I used our safe words. I used all the things I'm supposed to use and I started to have like a trigger um, as a way of helping me because in the past I explained to him that sitting on me helps because I like to be pushed down. Um, he sat on me and I said, no, 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 red, 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 hard red. Like this is a safe word. Like this is not well helping. I'm, I'm triggered for a reason I don't understand. I need you to get off me. Like, and I kept saying like, it's like during sex, I kept saying, oh my God, it's happening again. This had never happened. I've had sex hundreds of thousands. Like, I don't even know how many times. Hundreds of right? thousands well, of times. I stopped there. You know, yeah. relax everybody. I'm an exaggerator. But like, I didn't ever get triggered. And for some reason that night, it was just like perfect chemistry. So he started to grab me and he wouldn't let me leave the apartment. So I kept shoving his chest. I was like, get off me, get off, me, get off me. And he was like, no. And I was like, you have to let me go. Red, hard red. I'm using my safe words. Let me go. And he was like, no, you're doing something crazy. I don't want you to run out of this apartment and get hurt. And I was like, I'm not going to get hurt. Leave me alone. I already know how to take care of myself. And we were arguing about how, you know, in the middle of a trigger, like, and I was so confused. So I kept shoving him. And then after we broke up, he would tell people like, oh, she hit me. And that really fucked with me. Cause I was like, did I hit him? And I didn't, is that hitting people? Like, and I was so confused. So like, what did I do, Max? Tell me, was I a domestic abuse person or did I just react out of a trigger or did I have done it differently or like what? No, it sounds like you're, it sounds me? like you're a saint, a saint in a sea of rapist abusers defending yourself. <laughs> I hope they see jail time. Okay, so let's compare our stories. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. my story was told for the purpose of trying to get people to understand the mindset of somebody who participates in domestic violence. And how that mindset can change over time. Are we defining domestic violence differently? People hitting each fucking each other. I disagree. Wait, what do you disagree on yeah. for that? I I don't know if that's accurate. Because, like... Wait, if that, if that I, describes domestic violence? I always thought of domestic violence as, like... if You know how rape and sex are the same thing except the consent thing? Domestic violence has to have, like, some sort of, like, line, I feel like, where the person who's being like i never thought of my partner as a domestic abuser i don't think of him as a sexual assaulter i don't think of him as like even abusive just like really toxic and unhealthy but i don't think of him as like like a rapist or like a abuser i just look at him as like yeah a guy who was toxic and didn't go to therapy like that's life that's what happens well that's fine you can define those differently if you want but based on the story you just told if a, if a police officer had been in the room he would probably would have been arrested a few different times wouldn't I be arrested? No. Too, because I shoved him. No. If somebody, no, if somebody rapes you, it's legal to push them off. Or kidnaps you, or falsely restrains or imprisons you. You're allowed to push okay. them off. Okay. So I was acting in self-defense, basically. From what you even said, it was... sounds like it. Okay. So is that so? Even though hitting occurred, it's not domestic abuse or domestic. I violence. said domestic violence. The domestic okay, violence. So domestic violence. From the story you told, the domestic violence was happening to you, not by you. Even though I hit him after he wouldn't leave me alone, after I safe worded. Uh, yes. Well, you didn't even say you hit him. You said you pushed him, and that he I did. was grabbing you. Well, I mean, you. hitting. Yeah, I don't. Or, I don't know. You how to said push he was people. grabbing you and forcing you to yes. stay in the house when you pushed him. So I, I don't yes. think anybody's gonna interpret that as you being a abuser. No. Okay, so you think our stories? I just, I'm trying to correlate. So it's like the details are similar-ish. Like one person hit another person, or slapped, or pushed. I guess it's all kind well, of. Your I'm story just started to... out with somebody raping you, and then somebody Whoa, else. Whoa, we were raped. having consensual sex. You started. My boyfriend and I. Well, okay. We're having you consensual said, sex. You said once upon a time I got raped. 
Then another man and I were having sex. Then I told him to stop. He proceeded to rape me anyway. Then I told okay, him to get off of me. Okay, that is not what I said. Stop. I was having consensual sex with my then boyfriend. Yes. And I got triggered because something yes. happened during sex that reminded me of my assault. Yes. He, unaware the assault had even occurred. He did not uh -huh. know what to do and panicked and tried to pin me down so I couldn't leave the apartment. While you were having he, sex. Yes, but I had removed myself from that positioning. He had let me go, and I had run into the room, and I said, I have okay. to leave this Okay, well, the apartment. first time you told the story, it sounded like you said that he tried to stop him from having sex with you and were unable to do so for a brief time. No, 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 no. We were having sex, then I got triggered, and I removed myself from the bedroom, okay. and I said, I need so to get out of this you, apartment. So then he pinned you down and sat on you. You said the safe word a bunch of times, and he didn't yes. listen. Okay. Right, so then I shoved him, and I said, I'm very serious. You need to get off me. And he just wouldn't yep. hear me because he was got, afraid. Uh, okay. I got it. Okay. Okay. So in your situation, you said we're going to compare stories. It was a little different? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What Matt, so what Max is saying is that, like, Max can give an interesting perspective on, because when people think of domestic violence, they think of them as, like, insanely horrible, evil people. But he wanted to give an explanation of, like, I think my mindset is relatively unexceptional. This is how, like you know, somebody might get into a domestic abuse incident, basically. But your yeah. story is nobody would think that ever. They would go like, oh, well, of okay. course, Brittany was fully justified throughout the entire time. That's what they, that's what every okay. single person would think looking at that, right? And then just to clarification, because I love this empathy. I love the nuance. I do think people can be a domestic violent person yesterday and not today. And I'm just clarifying that you, Max, are saying that you what are no tomorrow? longer that person. But well, I don't think so. I, don't, I think I don't know. That's what worries me is how do you not know that you won't hit a woman again or a man or your how the partner? fuck can I know? I don't know. I, I don't know. If I asked my father, would you ever hit my mother? He'd be like, Betsy, I'd rather kill myself first. Like, don't you understand that some people have a very Yeah, well, maybe they don't have a very passionate feeling? relationship, Brittany. I mean, 10 kids later, you, there's some passion there. <laughs> okay, so they had sex 10 times. That doesn't prove anything. They're still having sex, and my mom's way past that time of having babies. <laughs> but yeah, they have a very like, I you know what I'm saying. I'm just asking you. I think it's great what you're trying to do. You're, if you're asking me why I'm not like your father. No, I'm asking you if you realize that. I don't realize people, anything you're saying. I don't agree with you. There's nothing to realize. People can't rally behind someone who hasn't changed, and they can't rally behind someone who hasn't who hasn't like. Become uh, okay, so you're saying if I make a new video that says, hey, oops, I hit Shaylin, I fucked up. I hit Shaylin, I said I wasn't going to, but I did. Here are the circumstances, I tell the story. You're saying, what, do, my, my, am I going to get banned? Or I'll, I was not going to rally behind me that isn't, that's behind me right now. As well, I have a no, large chunk of my fan is, base okay. who's like, we never thought Mr. Girl would okay, ever yeah, do so anything wrong Br ever Br again. Brittany is saying that your behavior was exceptional and you need to demonstrate that you've changed and you're not that person anymore. But Max is saying that his behavior was unexceptional. He was just trying to explain his state of mind at the time. That's the difference, yeah. right? So what okay. you're at, so yeah. you're, but you asking him to show how he's changed from that person would be for him to deny the initial creation of that video ever, which was to just showcase how people can domestically abuse people. Because what you're asking him to change into in his eyes is not a real person. That's a fake public person that is dishonest with people about what they feel and what they do. But people change. I'm asking Max, does he change? They change, but they sometimes change for the worse. So I don't know. Yes. I, 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 like, yeah, I, I may have changed for the better now, but maybe I'll take a downturn and start hating, hating people again. I don't know. Okay. So in that case, I think it's fair that people would feel afraid of being around you, especially a 5'1 woman like myself who's 125 pounds. I might hesitate to be in a room with you alone. Is that fair? You are it's absolutely <laughs> up to you. <laughs> how you feel and express. I don't know why. Uh, okay, hold on, wait, be clear, hold on, wait. This is not this. Brittany is not trying to say like, do I have your permission to feel a certain way? What she's trying to say is, can you acknowledge that what you are saying would logically lead any woman to feel this way? That's what she's asking. That's what she's really saying. Um, I don't think it's super logical, but I understand that that's how some women are. And Do you I think that, that like, it's reasonable that a woman might be in a room with you and be like, can you please show me your iPhone real quick? I want to see if you have, like, Apple tracking with your dad to make sure that he's not going to show up, then I get my ass beat. <laughs> that's like, yeah, that what... makes, that, that's more reasonable. That's true. Um, yeah, uh, I, I don't really understand 
you're asking me to validate your feelings and say that they make sense. I, I, as I said, I think you're a bit crazy. So I'm, I don't think they make that much sense, but I do follow what you're saying. You think I'm crazy for wanting to feel safe alone in a room with a man? That's admitted to hitting somebody for kind of a light reason. And still thinks about hitting his current girlfriend. And doesn't express doesn't. any guilt or remorse about his prior hit. I express remorse. Oh, okay. So there's it's a little bit of guilt. guilt. Oh, not guilt, but remorse. I, I regret. Regret's a good word. I think that's a more dignified word. Okay. I regret my actions. Um, I do. I think yes. I think you're insane, slightly about us or being insane right now. And do you think I I'm think, being insane in this conversation? Yes. Interesting. Uh, yeah. You uh, you haven't earned me hitting you. You got main character syndrome. I'm gonna hit you. Air. When you, you say wish, okay, you so wish, let's you explain wish this. I would hit you. When you say you feel like she's being insane in this conversation, what part of her thought oh, do process you, do you feel is unreasonable? Do you know how jealous Shaylin would get if I hit you? Oh Jesus! She would honestly. Kill me. She would good. kill me if I hit I'm another good. woman. I'm good. She I can't trust you. Me. I wouldn't be able to negotiate a BDSM scene with you because I don't know that you would actually follow the rules. Oh, he's not talking about BDSM. I'm not talking That's about what BDSM. I'm then I'm out. I don't I'm do not. domestic violence. I'm sorry. That's Shailen, not my thing. Okay. Shailen will be more jealous if I hit another woman than if I fucked another woman. True. I recommend therapy. Okay. Wait, he's already in therapy. Okay. Hold on. Wait. Let's move <laughs> off this this tangent. Okay. Um, because it's a very sharp edge. Okay. What? So when you say that you feel like Brittany is being insane, then there's some sort of irrational feeling that you think that she has. Well, what do you think is irrational about her thought process? Or what do you mean when you, you say that she's insane here? Just that uh, I think that she is... Yes, I didn't give much context for the story, but you mm -hmm. knew that we're in a relationship. I just think that most... Like, there needs it, to be like, more to justify hitting someone than you were in a relationship, right? Well, I'm not saying it's justified. I'm just saying if you're just making a predictive model of like, is, is Max going to hit me? Um, I feel like being in a room with me is probably not a great predictor. Like I'd be in jail if I was just hitting people whenever I'm in a room with them. I, I like I would be in jail. I think that people so. will broadly use heuristics to predict other behavior. So, for instance, let's say that I was in a room. Uh, let's say that you found out that I was a serial rapist. I raped three women, and now you're a woman and you're mm -hmm. alone in a room with me. And then you're like, okay, this is a little bit worrisome. And I say, no, what do you mean? All three women that I raped are 24. You're 26. I would never rape you. The person is probably going to be like, <laughs> okay. okay, well, hold on. I don't know if like that might not be the difference for you, right? So if you have the capacity <laughs> to hit a woman, any woman might think, I don't know if I feel safer on this dude. And you're like, well, I'm not dating okay. you, so I won't hit you. I don't know if most people would make that jump, you know? I think based on our personality types, um, I'm a, probably a thousand times more likely to hit you than Steven is. <laughs> right? How does this help at all? <laughs> but, but... That could be that could be uh, a thousandth of a percent and one percent, you know. It could still it's a it's a very minor chance. Uh, so I won't say that it's more like it's not. I'm, yeah, of course it's more. I've done it before. Uh, I've do you, said do you, I do you do you do you know what you sound like? Like I'm I want to help you. I feel <laughs> bad for you. Like you you I, you know you... what I feel bad for you too. Oh God, are we just do you know what you like... sound like? <laughs> I do know, but I'm okay being a hippy dippy bitch. But like you, like no, you get mad when I. That's not what you like, sound like. What do I sound like? A Nazi. Go oh my go god, on. Nazi! I go don't on. even. True go on, base. Are so go on, go on. Basic. I appreciate Max's hyper autism. I am similar in some ways. I'm just more aware of it. For it, like, I, well, Melina would always ask me, I hate it when I'm dating someone and like a girl asks, oh, like, do you think we'll be together forever? I'm like, I don't fucking know. Damn, dude, some shit might come up in two weeks and I fucking hate you. Like, I'm not gonna make that fucking prediction. Like, why the fuck are you asking me that question? I, like, I've given similarly autistic answers. But like, you have to understand that like, or I think for Max- I think about when, how it sounds. Yeah, when people are asking you questions, we, 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 play, we play a lot of linguistic games. Like when somebody says, uh, like for instance, I'll say with Melina. When Melina says like, do you think we're going to be together forever? She's not really asking that. That's a stupid question. And even she knows that's a stupid question. What she's really asking is like, do you feel like you love me so much right now that in right. your mind, you're probably going to love me, you know, until the end of time. That's what she's really asking, right? So when Brittany's saying like, do you know how you sound? Brittany's not saying like, can you give me a precise percentage chance on whether or not you will domestically abuse me or physically abuse me forever together in a room? It's more like, do you think that you have the capacity to hit somebody like without provocation? That's like really what's being asked. And when you ask that question and then you're kind of, or when she asks, and then you're a little dodgy about the answer, you're like, yeah, you know, 
it feels like there's there's like this tacit admission. Like? Yeah, yeah. Like I don't know. Maybe you know. You know, it depends on what you wear that day. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. You know, that's kind of what it sounds like. That's the feeling it gets. You know. Um, I I believe that virtue signaling gets in the way of us being honest with each other. And while each each <clears throat> virtue signal can be make sense, can even ease communication uh, in the moment and help us get our message across, I find that as a practice, it's um, eroding like honesty, especially on social media. So since we're so, in the middle of a stream, I'm going to give you a different answer than like if you were like a friend of a friend and we're like at a dinner party and you're like, wait, are you? Is this, uh, do you think is it cool to be here with you? Like, are you going to hit me? Like, I'll give a different answer in like an actual like social situation. But um, but that but that's not you're you're talking to me as like the guy who made the video, you know, and so like it's different. I, I, so here's, I'm gonna take this a step further. I think virtue signaling is totally fine. There's nothing wrong with virtue signaling. When people use virtue signaling as a pejorative, they're really using that as a shorthand. The full sentence is, I think you're signaling a virtue that you don't have, right? If I meet a girl at a restaurant um, and I stop a little bit longer to like open the door for her, I'm virtue signaling that I'm a polite person. Or if I stop, if I open the door for her to get into the car, true. right? No, 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 it is true. I'm trying to share like, I'm a nice dude. I'm a considerate guy, right? Like, Are you I'm always a, gonna hold the door for her? Probably, because I'm a pretty considerate person. Like, I mean, maybe, okay. yeah. But like, the, but I'm trying to signal, because that's what you do with language and actions. You do try to signal your virtues or your vices, right? Yeah. Um, um, yeah, but when it gets into this like inquisition shit online where people are like purity testing you, um, I don't but think we're. I don't think it's like, a purity Do you like? Do you test. love black people? Like, do you love black people? That is a perfect example of a purity test where you're being asked to virtue signal in a way that's like. It would be know. like if somebody asked me like, I if I love black people or if I like black people after I do a two-hour monologue about black crime stats and how I think Africans are fundamentally different than white people. If somebody at the end of that would be like. Do you actually like black people? I think that would be a legitimate question because I've sold a pretty different image, <laughs> right? I, and that's kind of what's happening, right? We're like, yeah, I beat her, but my dad was close by. Well, that, like, I guess, well, I'm, I guess I'm saying you, right? I, think, yeah. I, think, I think what Brittany's doing is similarly dishonest. Okay. Why? I think what am I being I think, dishonest about? That's what confuses me. I just, I'm just i just asking questions and I'm well, confused by your behavior. Uh, yeah, so just asking to... questions it should be your fucking name of your channel. I think that uh, saying because you hit your ex, you had like a super contentious relationship with, I think now you might hit me. I don't know. Um, it's like you want me to hit you. Like you want me to, you, like you're, no, you're not that special to me. I don't know you, Brittany. No, you, no. See, what are you doing right I, now? See, in the first call, I thought we were having a meta conversation when you would do this. Because you know how we kind of flirted in DMs? I thought it was okay. And then you called me rapey. And now you're doing it again. You're flirting. This is flirting. You know I'm kinky. You know I like being spanked. Okay, so wait, why? Brittany. I don't, that, no, hold on. No, wait, no. that is... Hold on. Just, the, yeah, not, yeah, wait. I don't I'm think, not, Brittany, not, that is not at all the conversation that okay, he's engaged in right now. listen to what yeah. I'm saying. In my world, <laughs> if he knows what I'm into and then brings it up in that voice, in my girl I'm talking brain about, goes, oh. I'm talking about punching you in the face. Okay, but like, are you literally... Why would you punch me in the face? You just said I had to date you to be punched in the face in a violent this way. Is, so you must mean it in is, a... No, this is the conversation we're having. You're asking, you said, is it reasonable for me to be afraid that you're going to punch me in the face? And I'm making fun of you for asking that question. Because Stephen I'd have to is, date you to Stephen be Stephen is open. trying to, Stephen is trying to help you, uh, help us understand each other and sort of explaining why you asked that question by getting I, Okay, hold on, but actually, hold on, I have to think. Jesus Christ, my brain is fucking fried. I have made jokes actually like that towards people if I'm being flirty. I've made rape jokes towards girls. Where I'm, I'll not say saying, like I'm not saying So I, I, I actually, I, I can understand how somebody could interpret it that way. Because you Absolutely, just, yeah. I understand how Brittany and could interpret it that way. No, no, explicitly, Max. <laughs> to somebody that you DMs. know likes BDSM and all that shit. Maybe, I, like, I yes, know. and in the messages, in the DMs, you literally, like, that's why I'm saying, did you not, were you not flirting with me in those DMs? Like, I'm so confused. Uh, I, when I said I, on, uh, I think I said I understand that you would like it if I yelled at you. I, yes, I and did then you not said, intend that to. And then you said, here's a bunch of videos of me yelling at Shaylin to tie you over. Or something like, you can watch. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, I didn't. I, I, That's flirting, I, isn't it? Am I that autistic too? I don't, I don't think I meant for that. Happening? I understand why you're saying that's flirtatious. I think I was just trying to ease the tension with some humor. Oh, my God. That's so oh, man. There's so me. much autism in this call. I love it. I that was so great. Cool. 
I, I was trying to just make a joke. <laughs> you know when somebody s s comes on to you and then you make a joke to be like, oh, let's divert into a joke. I think I was trying to just say like, um, here are some videos that you, well, one, I think I was bringing up Shaylin because I'm like, whenever somebody starts flirting with me, I'm like, hey, I have a girlfriend. Here oh, she is. Oh, just say I'm nice. monogamous and I have a girlfriend. And I'm like, oh, okay, my bad. I think I the issue is that one, one, one thing is that like humor can be used to, I don't know to, if you're monogamous or not. Humor can be used to humor like awkwardly, to deep, it can yeah. be used to diffuse the trigger, but it can also be used for like, like if somebody says like, man, if I was near you, I'd fucking jump you right now. And I'm like, yeah, Shane, there's so much distance between us, right? Is that an invitation for them to keep pushing or am I right, trying to like right. awkwardly skirt? Right, that's, it could be hard for yeah. people to figure that out, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying that you that I was super clear in my response or that right. I even so wanted now, to be super clear. I'm just clear. embarrassed in an audience. You needed viewer. to virtue signal no, 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 more, no, Max, I, about I, not I, being I, sexually interested. Right? That's what you needed to do. See, this is yeah. where the virtue signal would have been good. Okay. I'm, I don't think you need to be embarrassed about that or, or anything. That's not that's not what I'm saying. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to say that uh, Yes. Yeah, so well, if I say you haven't earned me punching you in the face, I guess you could take that to be flirtatious. But that's not that's not my intention. My what I'm, I'm just saying I'm saying that I think it is presumptuous of you. I'm trying to make the point that the argument I'm making, which is it is presumptuous of you to think that because I hit my ex in the yeah. face in a super intimate, long, multi-year relationship that somehow you're not safe to just be in alone in a room with me because suddenly I might just hit it. I'm saying it is a very special, meaningful thing to have me punch you in the face. Only, only one person gets to say yeah. that that's ever happened. I can see it. I that's, did presume that's... I made an assumption based off of uh, data and I guess I'm. you're telling me I'm wrong and I will keep that in mind for future possible interactions. Well, it's all probabilistic. Yeah, so it makes me feel unsure. I, I'm a, I, I like consistency I probably, in my life. I, I don't see myself hitting you, but I don't know. I don't see myself hitting Shaylin in it either. But, you know, yes, it's, it's yeah. undeniable that, see the thing, you've got me in a trap where either way, either either I'm like saying, like, I'm a changed man, I'm cured. Like, I said that in the video, but I was, I was joking. Because I'm saying, like, who fucking knows if I'm cured? I don't fucking know. Are you know. afraid, like, future Max might uh, go back on that idea of I'm changed, and then therefore all the work you've done? Because, like, even if I relapse with my borderline, No, I'll just make another video about how, I'll make a video about how, said this called, how I started hitting women again. I, okay, I think, okay, just... like, the problem is, Brittany, is you're looking for a change, but he's, Max is trying to be autistic honest to a fault right so he's like, like in it no 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 no. it's like if somebody like if somebody would ask me like hey like this is something i say a lot to people someone asked me like hey are you lying to me i hate it when people ask me that question uh, i think i might have even we might have had a talk privately where i literally repeated this to you and i said don't ever ask me if i'm lying because if i was lying obviously i wouldn't fucking tell you that i'm lying why the fuck would you ever ask me if i'm lying to you that's the dumbest question in the world but obviously when a person is saying that they're not literally asking to do that dialogue tree they just want like an assurance like say something to reassure me right um max is being honest in that like he i don't think he sees himself as an abuser he's not going to abuse yeah. somebody he doesn't plan on doing it but he's he's the the honesty to a fault is that he's not going to lie and say there's no chance that he would never abuse anybody in the future ever hit anybody in the future because yeah. if we're all being honest that is to some degree a possibility right and then max uh, would probably I, take I, it a yeah. step further and he would say even more this is a virtue signal you should be more worried about the person that would say they would never hit you because that person's not being honest but at least he's honest enough to admit like under which conditions he would do it and one of those conditions is being in a back and forth horrible relationship where there are instigating factors external to the relationship that drives them to do it. Yeah, I think in my head, I made the mistake of framing it as, if I'm in a healthy situation, would I then do this? And you're saying, well, obviously it would have to be a certain amount of unhealthiness to get to this point. And well, I would define, I define punching your girlfriend in the face as unhealthy. Yes. Yes, so right? Okay. I would say necessarily it's an unhealthy situation. Right. Okay. So I think because of my, um, like my type of therapy that I went through, the idea is to try to control your life enough. So you're not in that situation because you don't want to be that person again. So mm -hmm. I try very hard to make sure that I do steps. So future Brittany doesn't mm -hmm. have to be in a situation where she's losing spoons all day or like I've been this week. I took, I had to take work off to go to the doctor, um, to, you know, work on my medical stuff. Cause I was like losing spoons. I was getting irritated at my brothers and I was like, I'm sorry, I am snapping on all of you. And I, think I just don't have spoons. So nobody talked to me for a few days because I don't know what's going on with my body, you know? And then when I figured it out, I was like in a better mood today. I'm glad you called today because I couldn't have picked up the phone yesterday. I was too busy like crying over my body. <laughs> but I'm glad you called today because I'm feeling great. You know what I mean? I It's a different Brittany today. So I, I guess I understand um, better now. And I thank you for that clarification. You're welcome. I appreciate it. I hope, I hope this is like a 
good energy now. I feel pretty good. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know still. I don't know. Okay. I think if I ha okay, if I had to guess, if I'm reaching into the mind, I feel like I'm autistic enough to understand both of you. <laughs> I think that the takeaway here is that Max doesn't feel like there's a resolution because you're still simultaneously. It feels like you're asking him for a level of honesty that you can't handle. You're asking him to be honest to a fault about the way that he views the world and how he feels about things. But when he gives you those answers that he feels like are honest and unexceptional, this is how most people feel. You're yeah. going to turn around and judge him for it. And it's like, well, what the fuck was the point? Yeah. Hold on. Let me think about that. Because I don't feel, I feel much more relieved now that we've talked. I feel like I understand you better. Do I feel like I'm judging you? Um, I don't know that I feel that way. I feel like you made your point very clear and that I to accept Max must accept that he is unsure and honest about that unsuredness about his future self. And so that's interesting to me. And I am going to just accept if you're, I accept that this is your honest position. Now, I didn't believe it before, but now that this conversation had, I feel like you're being honest with me, but I don't know you Max personally enough. So I'm just mm -hmm. going off faith now. That's kind of you a power are, play. <laughs> am I the top? Uh, it's not a sexual power play. It's a manipulative uh, person. Power top and bottom doesn't have to be sexual, Max, obviously. Yeah, it doesn't Brittany doesn't even sexual. incorporate sex into her BDSM play. If you've listened to her Thank videos, you, you would know that. Thank you for listening to me, Steven, yeah. when I talk. Thank uh, you. Yeah. I think that coming in here and uh, interrogating me about my stance. I was invited. On punching my... I was invited. Oh, I, I know called. you're invited. You still waltzed in. I think interrogating me on my stances of, of punching my ex in the face, and even though I made it perfectly clear in the video exactly what I was saying, get it, capitalizing on the fact that people are talking about this lately, and you get to okay, be in a Max, position Max, where you get to, no, 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 no. Let me let me finish. Let him finish. Let me finish my sentence. Let him finish. Let me finish my sentence. Let him finish. Capitalizing on the fact that people are talking about this and that you think it's going to be a sore spot or a weak spot, especially just after a pretty vulnerable conversation with Steven, where we're both being pretty open about ourselves, then you come in with the inquisitor no no sense of being like oh i can relate to you because i'm a fucking psycho controlling person too and i absolutely know what it would take to get me to snap and hit somebody do a bunch of horrible shit because i'm kind of unstable myself no that's not the that's not the stance you take you come in like a police officer trying to get me to trip up and contradict myself and the whole time even just the fact that you're asking these questions gets to put you in a in a nice light and put me in a bad light and then you're saying things like oh i think i guess i think because somebody hit their ex once 10 years ago um uh maybe it's not safe to be alone in a room with them i don't think you feel safe being alone in a room with me i think that's a lie i think that you are trying to put me in my place and make me feel how you felt the last time we talked i think a lot of the things you're saying while technically i feel like you're are, are not are not lies the the premises of what you're saying are, are a lot of it is dishonest and see i can't tell again like are you are you playing a game right no now? he's not okay i think you totally misunderstand huh? every single thing Brittany's saying but then this is always like my my main contention is I just, I feel like sometimes you say things, but you don't understand. Um, I think we, I think I communicated this before that <clears throat> sometimes there's a ritual that humans do and breaking the ritual <laughs> makes people uncomfortable. Not because the ritual mm -hmm. itself is important, but just the fact that you would break the ritual makes people uncomfortable. And I always feel like that's like a fundamental yeah, exactly. step between you and another person for understanding. Because I think that exactly. actually, well, here's a I question. You were, I think you're giving Brittany a pass. Yeah, my whole audience does. Don't worry. Um, here, so here's a question well, that I would have. you're giving her a different pass than they think. Okay, and maybe. Um, here's a question. I give both of you lots of passes, okay? So I think you're both interesting, fascinating people, okay? Here's a question that I would ask you. Do you think if the average woman consumed some of your content, that video and say this conversation, and you were to pull the average woman, do you think that Max is a higher or lower propensity for domestic violence? What do you think the average woman would say? Higher than the average person? Yeah, if the, if you pull the average woman after watching that uh, that video and then your probably, conversation here, probably right? moderately higher. Yeah, and I think that's all Britney's saying. But you are trying to I know say that's not all Britney's. That's not all Britney's saying. Britney's getting revenge. <clears throat> what? I'm that's right. not all Britney's like, saying. That's why I'm also, saying, are Brittany, you joking Brittany, right now? This feels like a joke. No, he's not no, joking. Not jok Brittany, stop accusing him of joking. Like, Hold on, wait, wait, stop. Hold on, wait. You're gonna trick me. Don't ever accuse Max of joking. He's not joking. He's being okay, very sincere. So there is no game being played here. Revenge for what, though? Like, that's what I'm saying. For embarrassing I, you. In my, Habibi, do you mean the conversation we had, the, like, just the two of us? Like, the very... The, I came out on fucking top. What are you talking about? I literally was... What do you mean? I literally... That was my win. If you, you preface the whole conversation as a win or lose, I obviously, like, 
felt like I dominated. What are you talking about? Well, I, I don't know that you feel that, that way uh, all the way through. Yeah. I, was... I think our conversation was uh, in some circles in certain fan bases could potentially have been damaging to your reputation. Oh, I mean, and you, and you blame that on me and you no, blame no, no, that no, on no, me. No, 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 you're, no, no, you are misunderstanding me now. You need to see Britney. Britney caters to oh, women. I see Britney. I talk to queer people. Your audiences are lovely, but they're not people that I think speak my language. So I don't think they're ever going to, as a general whole, though I have a few DD okay. years. I think you're getting revenge audience. on me. You don't. That's fine. That's <laughs> I, I don't think. feel like I need to get revenge on anything. I thought it was a great, wonderful conversation. <clears throat> That's why I'm here right now. I really. I think Steven's giving you a you. pass because you're you're pretending to to be emotionally dumber than you actually are, and he's allowing this to happen. Okay, here. Okay, here are some statements that I'll make, but I don't know if you'll believe me because maybe you think I'm incentivized slightly. So I've talked with Brittany a fair amount off stream. I have like a decent understanding, I think, about how her mind works. I don't think she's the type of person that would come here just looking for revenge. She could be, and I might be missing that. I just haven't had enough interactions yet, but I don't think so. That would be really boring. And if that was the case, I think she could have played this conversation out a lot differently because there are a lot of things that you said that she could harp on to make you look evil and just gone by that over and over again. And I think she was willing to make some concession where she's like, okay, given everything else you've said, like, okay. yeah, I think, whereas she could have very easily, if she was here for revenge, like it's very easy, especially, no offense, as a white woman, she can just sit here and be like over and over again, like, uh, Habibi, like I've been abused before. Like I'm not about to step into no, no, a room no, no, with somebody no. you like think you. That, do won't, that. that won't fly with either of our audiences. <laughs> no, but it would with hers you if know? she was going for revenge and she's got the woman card, so she could easily play that over and over again and then just leave the conversation and look okay. I guess I don't think that's what I. I think Brittany is a master of the double bind. <laughs> So, the, so the, the the first double bind, the yeah. first conversation we had, you said if you scream at me, I will become aroused. Okay, yeah. so you come in and you're like, oh, I had to wear underwear to talk to you. So that way, if I win the I'm argument- so, I, That's I, so embarrassing for me now, because in hindsight, you weren't flirting with me, so now I look stupid, and I'm so sorry. I'm let so me, sorry. Let me, let me just explain. It's not, I, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I'm not talking about that. It's a double bind, because if I scream at you, then I am your sexual servant, acting out your fantasy, and you win. If I, if I yell and, and dominate, then you win. And then if I don't dominate and I yell, then then you also win because you win the conversation. So either way, I am subjugated. Why was it subjugated. even winning and losing, Max? I either we way, yeah, I don't even see winning and losing a fucking level system. Fuck, okay, wait, hold on. Well, now you make me sound dumb because I was saying there wasn't a game being played, but now you're making it sound like there is a metagame being played in the conversation. Or do you think she's Let just me, the only one playing the metagame in the I conversation? I think she's the only one doing it. Okay. Uh, you, I think you, you do see losers and winners everywhere you me. everywhere you go because you got a level. You have, even have a literal <laughs> level system to denote who the losers are who don't fucking deserve to live. That's now with this conversation, is about in this conversation, all. in this conversation, we have a different double bind. You okay. want me to step down from my position as having criticized you. You want me to walk it back, or no, or wait, what? If I don't, I'm confused. You want me to walk back my critic? Let me just. This is what I think. You don't have to agree with it. It's fine. Okay. I think you want me to walk back or soften or take back what I said. So you put me in a new double bind. You're gonna ask. You're gonna try to reconnect with me. You're gonna ask me a bunch of questions, right? But the questions are all gonna be about um, uh, spousal abuse or domestic violence that I was involved in. So my two choices are: I can either capitulate and submit to your questioning, which I did, um, and I can stand my ground. But I still then I end up looking like a psychopathic domestic abuser who um, who basically you we're writing like me. episode 14 for Death Note right now. Like that's what it feels <laughs> like. You dis you discredit me. By getting me just even asking, answering questions about an embarrassing, revealing topic, however gracefully I do it, I'm still discredited somewhat in my criticism of you earlier. Or um, I say, you're right. I shouldn't have said it that way. I should show more contrition. I take it back. You're not really asking me about me hitting my ex-wife. You're asking me about hitting you. This is all about you. You feel that I punched you in the face. And now you want me to either show regret or remorse, or you want me to be discredited as somebody who's crazy for doing so. In either way, it gets taken back. That's the double bind this time. I'm sure I next feel time like because be you make one. so many assumptions about my intentions, you don't allow for an honest conversation to occur. I think you're doing you all this automatically. I don't, don't think you know that. I don't think you are aware that you are doing this. I don't think you see that you are doing this, but I am well, Max, pretty I'll sure Max, I'll have to let you be happening. yourself and you knock your, you put yourself in a weird box already. You already did it with your whole content. Knock I don't have to do nothing. Out. Right? Like you already KO'd yourself with your own content, so I don't have to do it. So I'm asking you, do you want to have a real conversation where we're people? But I'm asking you to acknowledge that this we're This is different. a real conversation. This is but what I think you are people. doing as a but person. But you never believe me. 
No, you, never you don't get to me. tell me who you are as a person. No. Okay, I well then why are you. we I, talking? I don't believe you. <laughs> That's fine. I then I, I'm bored. This is kind of the bind that I said was earlier. So for Max, the Sherlock Holmes stuff, where if you divine a person's intentions, if you are wrong, how could you ever be proven otherwise? You can't. That's true. So that's a problem. Or maybe it's not. Yeah. <laughs> maybe I don't know it's, if it's a problem. If you're <laughs> it's, right, maybe it's this not is a fun. That's yeah, true. And if you're wrong, then fuck up. You burn them and move on. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's another double bind, I guess. A double bind of my own. Okay, listen, guys. I uh -huh. have to go. I look forward to uh, listening to whatever happens right after I hang up uh, later. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> thank you for having me. I will say you were radiating a lot of Jewish energy. I'm just fucking with you. I'm sorry. I'm just fucking. I'm just. I'm just, I'm just I'm, okay. Don't even. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> say it later. Say it to my schnoz, Destiny. <laughs> okay. I love you. Thanks, Max. Okay. Bye. Uh, bye, Brittany. Bye. Uh, Steven, I love you. I'll love see you both. Later. Be careful. <clears throat> How do you feel Am that I conversation went? I have to leave in like you, I'm five minutes tops. Yeah. Okay, because um, Jesus good, Christ. Good, because I really have to pee. Um, I don't know. I think I'm just... <clears throat> I, I, you know, I have this theory that if you can't see a part of a person, you can't understand them. So maybe Max and I just don't see each other, and that's the dilemma. Do you understand fundamentally what his issue is about honesty? Yes, but I think we define honesty different. He doesn't be, like I don't know how to be more honest. Except I'm, I'm also on the internet, so like I, I'm trying to be honest. And I understand he's trying to be really honest. Yeah, so his feeling is that there is a whole dimension of human experience that all of us exist that we're unwilling to share with each other. And he wants to take the step further to share that experience. And then when he perceives other people as attacking him for it, he will, his, his, the place that his mind goes to is, this is an experience that I know we all share. Fuck you. And now, now I'm going to attack you. I'm accusing me. So he's done this That's with Lauren. Problem. He's done this with you. I think he's probably done it with yeah. other people. Yeah. So basically, it'll be something like, like I think with Lauren, the conversation was basically like, like he was, he's willing to admit sometimes 12 year olds are attractive or whatever the fuck he said. I don't want to miss or something like that. And Lauren's like, okay, well, that's really weird. I don't trust you, which is probably fair of Lauren to say, but his feeling is, hold on. I know that we all have these experiences and I know that you're lying about it and you're virtue signaling for your audience to try to make it sound like you don't trust me when you're having this conversation. And I know you trust me and I hate you for that. And, that, and that's kind of the meta conversation that develops over the other conversation. And that's kind of what's happening with you two right now, basically. Yeah. But does he understand like from a I've never women don't we don't find 14 year olds attractive like generally it's very Should abnormal that, that's, for us to I, think of, of kids of all that the way. things you could have responded to and what I just said I no, don't that's know how that's what, no Steven listen to me that's why I understand what Max is saying but when yeah. he says all it makes people defensive because we're not having those shared experiences we don't sure and that. that's that's the risk that he runs into is that if he identifies what he believes is a shared experience or if he identifies what he believes is an right. internal feeling of somebody else and it's wrong and we just talked about this even before you came on I said there's like the issue that you run into is you might nail somebody on a feeling they don't have and then it's really hard to move you off of that yeah yeah, but all I mean, I'm saying is like if Max doesn't see me and I don't see him, I think that's fine. Um, I hope we can get to a point where we can. But when he says like you are experiencing this and it it feels like I'm being gaslit because that's not my experience. Sure. Um, yeah, that's, that's just you both have to make a lot of effort in the conversation to see each other. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think so. Otherwise, I don't have any ill will towards Max. I think he clarified his positions very clearly, and I think I understand <clears> him way better than I did before. So that's good. Okay, well, have fun. Good luck. Thanks for hopping on to take part in the autism. <laughs> Thanks. Have a good night. All right, have a Bye. Night. Jeez. You were a simp in this convo. I've got people in my YouTube chat that are really mad that I didn't attack Max more, and then I've got people in my DGG chat that are really mad that I didn't attack Brady more. So, you know what? I'm okay. I think I'm pretty fair in these convos. I think you guys are unhinged. Um, I'm good. I'm good with that. You don't think she was virtue signaling at all? No, if a guy says that he hit a woman in the past, I think most women are gonna be a little bit uncomfortable around that guy. That's like a normal thing. Like, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> that's like, <laughs>